right, since I don't have the uh, the frame anymore, I'm going to demonstrate this uh, on a, a piece of PVC pipe. And I've drilled the hole out, so it was uh, pretty much the same as the uh, the top tube of the bike that you're seeing in this video. Um, so just imagine if you would, this is a carbon fiber tube to a, to a bike frame. So there's not much that you actually need to do this repair. Uh, you know, on on a lot of the repairs I do, I use the uh, the standard stuff, pill ply, vacuum bagging stuff, uh, you know, that type of thing. So you really don't need that stuff. So let me show you what I've got here. Uh, basically, you need some uh, carbon fiber epoxy. Um, you know, some epoxy that's made for carbon fiber. This is some resin research. This is the uh, Pro 2100 system. Uh, this has pretty much the same physical characteristics as uh, like a West Systems 105 resin. Uh, I like using this just because it's cheap, but uh, other than that, they're both pretty, pretty similar epoxies. Um, you know, if you don't have a scale, I like to usually use a scale so I'm not wasting too many cups because these cups are cheap. Uh, this epoxy mixes uh, 100 parts uh, resin to 45 parts hardener by weight. Um, if you're doing it by volume or if you don't have a scale, you can go ahead and get a, a cup like this, which is a measuring cup and you know it has these numbers on there so however much epoxy you're mixing up you can go to, you know two to one on on volume uh, this epoxy is two parts resin to one part hardener by volume so your volume and weight is different on your epoxies usually so you know if you don't have a scale on that that the cup works really well and like i said you can just get that at uh, like an automotive paint supply place or sometimes they have them at your local hardware store uh, the other thing that you're going to need is some carbon fiber. Um, depending on on the type of repair you're doing or how thick the uh, carbon fiber is on the tube is going to determine what type of carbon fiber you're using. Uh, on the video that you see now, I'm using an 80K uh, uni directional cloth, which is just a standard modulus. I'm also using this, uh, this uh, AS4 uh, 400 satin weave cloth which is also just a standard modulus. This is a 6K and 11 ounces per yard. So um, that's also what I'm using on the, the other frame, uh, except for that I'm using it on a 45 degree orientation. So basically the, the fibers are running this way when I put the, uh, the 400 satin weave on and the uni is running this way. So anyway, I'm just going to demonstrate with this because I, I have lots of this stuff and this is just a scrap piece. The uh, uni, I don't have any um, big enough scrap pieces to do this, uh, this video. So um, just bear with me on this. Also, you'll notice that it's not oriented on 45, so it's just going to be oriented on 0 and 90. Anyway, um, the other thing you need is like a piece of plastic. You don't have to use vacuum bagging. This is uh, vacuum bagging plastic. You can just use some, some mylar you know, Visqueen from the hardware store. You could probably even find a Ziploc bag and use a plastic from that. Um, the other thing you'll need is something to mix your epoxy with. And then you just need a, a roll of masking tape. This is 3M. Um, I've used the blue, green, and white, and I haven't had any problems with it sticking to the epoxy once it's cured. So I'm just gonna use this cheap 3M painter's tape. And um, that's pretty much all you need to, to do this repair. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the uh, camera. I'm gonna wet out this uh, piece of carbon fiber and I'm gonna show you how to do a tape wrap onto this, this tube here. Okay, I've gone ahead and mixed up my epoxy um, with the uh, resin and hardener. Now I'm gonna wet out my, uh, my cloth here. And basically what we're doing is we're making a, a pre-preg is what they call it. And, and all that means is that uh, we are pre-impregnating the, uh, the carbon fiber with, with epoxy. So, you just take your mixing stick, just roll out uh, a little bit of epoxy on there, and then just wet it out real good. Okay, so that's pretty much all you do with the, your popsicle stick. If you have a lot of extra car, or, uh, epoxy, you can just wipe it off to the side now. We're going to discard this, uh, this plastic along the edges of the carbon fiber. 
Okay, now I'm gonna cut the plastic right along the edge of this carbon fiber. Just throw these pieces away. I find it hard to do this part with gloves on. I'm gonna take those off. Um, on a repair, normally you're gonna to wanna to go at least two to three inches past the, uh, the hole here. So uh, this one's uh, extra long. The longer you go, the better. So if you wanted to put a patch on or a splint on that's uh, this long on your tube, it's going to be stronger than if you did one that's you know, right here or just barely covering it. So I'm just going to take this now and I'm going to wrap that around the hole there. Okay, now it's real important to, to remember that when you wrap this, you don't want to overlap the plastic. Okay, so you, what you're going to want to do is take this piece of plastic now and peel this back. I peel that back and then I wrap this other piece of plastic over the top of it. Like that. Now with this piece here, you can cut that off if you want, or you can just overlap it this way. And it's important to try to get as many of these wrinkles out as you can. Okay, so right here is where our hole is. You can, you can see it there. So now when we're doing this, we've got to be careful not to wrap around that hole. Because if you wrap around that hole, it's going to give you a little divot, like I've done here. And you don't want that to happen. So on your very first layer, you're going to want to uh, make sure that that's nice and, and tight. So you kind of pull it and pull it lengthwise. And what that'll do is that'll kind of mock or mimic the shape of the tube over that, that area there. So what I'd like to do at this point is I'm going I'm to take off the sides here. Okay. I'm going to do a long piece over where that hole is. pull this stick tight. So now you just do a spiral wrap down to where you marked out. Again, it's better to use a, a marker here. And then um, we're going to let that set up.
anyway, that's pretty much it. We leave this to cure. Um, it's fairly cold. I'll leave it to cure uh, overnight and then um, I'll take this off and show you what it looks like.